everybody, it's Alyssa again. We're going to be making a lemur that you can actually move the tail today. So um, online you'll be able to find a printout of this little guy and you can color him however you would like. Um, I colored mine like a ring-tailed lemur and so then we're just going to go ahead and cut him out and I'll show you how to put them together. So I have cut out all of my pieces now. Um, I've already went ahead and glued the eyes and the nose onto his little face. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to glue each piece onto him just like this. So there's his back leg, some glue at the top there, and then it just kind of tucks behind like that. There's that. Do the same with the front leg. He's got all four legs. Blew his head on. If you don't have a glue stick, you could use tape if you'd want to. So there we go. All right, and then we're gonna add the tail. So with the tail, we wanna make it so that it moves. So we're gonna use a brad, which is just this little Thing that you can find at stores um, and then we're just gonna poke it right through you may have to use the scissors if it's not wanting to poke through If you wanted to get really creative, you could use a brad for the legs as well and make the legs move, as well as the tail. Alright, and then you just fold the two sides out, and now we have a lemur and his tail moves. Thanks guys!